Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me So we've just woken up um, and we can hear the weather before we can see the weather <laughs> but it is like absolutely pouring down I don't know if we can actually see the rain but and then the, the wind is just like gale force it keeps going really really windy um, this is gonna be interesting going to an exposed place today <laughs> time for a cup of tea um, a little tea set in here and we bought our Starbucks mugs with us. Rich isn't having anything this early, but I'm having a nice cup of tea to start the day. For a colour change, let's go to red. Here we go. There we are. I always just do it to the Starbucks logo, but look how red that is. Oh, starting the morning with Everybody Loves Raymond. It's one of those comfort programmes. <laughs> okay, gonna give the digestive gingerbread a try this morning. Let's see how we go. It's definitely picking up out there. We can hear it through the roof. Oh, that's going to be fun. Good morning. It is, as Luke said this morning, it is very dreary, rainy, windy out today. So we are getting prepared with our rucksack items. Oh, and by the way, lots of people commented on the alien rucksack being back um, in action yesterday. And we are so pleased to be able to bring this out because it's been tucked away at home for a little while now. So it's got a little bit of an outing for sure. Rather being Disney. Rather being Disney, of course. Um, so we are just waterproofing. So we've got these like sandwich bags from Ikea. So we're just waterproofing anything of valuable, uh, of value. So in here we've got our uh, vlogging camera batteries um, and yeah so we've got some like anti back in the bag um, and hopefully we can keep the vlogging camera dry as well that's all round about here like sea related items Good morning everyone Good morning. it is vlogmas day 5 5th of December um, it's our anniversary um, we are heading to Corf Castle. Went to Corf Castle, which we've been to um, before. We went probably five years ago, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say at least five, five years, years ago. ago yeah. uh, the weather was slightly nicer when we went five years ago. Uh, so we had, as you saw this morning, we've got torrential rain, wind. Um, so it's not looking great. Back home, the weather's nice. <laughs> yeah, back at home, the weather's <laughs> nice. So we're going to head down there. It's about a 25 minute drive from our hotel. Uh, explore it's in a lovely little village isn't it yeah and do you know any historical facts about Corf Castle <laughs> come back to me it's old it's I know old. that <laughs> and it's really cool so um, we're hoping that we'll be able to video there but then um, we'll take you along and uh, check in close as you can see the weather is pretty poor today but we just saw a massive flood on the road didn't we we did and yeah. um, had to swerve out into the other lane so um, yeah and on the other side I think there'd been an accident because of flooding so Corf Castle is actually the name of the town as well, the little village rather. Um, it's a civil parish and the castle itself, that's what we're going to see, dates back in some form to the 10th century. It was the site of the murder of Edward the Martyr in 978, a long time ago. Um, during the English Civil War, it was a royalist stronghold and was besieged in, in 1643 and again in 1646. So it's currently open as part of the National Trust. So we booked a slot to go, so we had to make an appointment uh, for 10 o'clock, which was the earliest one we could get, wasn't it? Yeah. And the National Trust is celebrating their 125th birthday this year, so our by purchasing tickets, we're obviously supporting the National Trust as well. Yeah, so we're super excited, um, and we'll show you when we get verdict on the gingerbread milk digestives. They're nice, it's a strange combination. It kind of tastes like a ginger biscuit, biscuit combined with like a milk chocolate digestive. I'm yet to try them, it was a little bit too early for me to have biscuits this morning, but yeah. yeah we'll try them later, but um, a nice aftertaste, I would recommend really weird traffic that came to a complete stop so we've gone um just found a little way a different way so we're just gonna try now houses but sometimes a detour isn't so bad up yeah. signs for Corf Castle 
and there's a farm for Christmas trees. Okay. Aside from the COVID test site that's out here, we're just about to see the castle in the distance through the trees. So you were the first to see yesterday, but I'm the first to see the castle. Yeah, Rich saw the castle first today. So here we, here we go, it's up there. Oh, you can just sort of see it. Um, so we're gonna try and go to the west car park, which we think is more central given the weather. Last time we parked in the north car park. There it is, look at that. It's so cool and it's so, so high. high. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect weather for it. So we're coming into Corfe Castle now. We're going to get these fantastic views now up there. Look at that. Sorry about the windscreen wipers. I think last time we parked here on the left. We did, yeah. In the main and car park. And then we walked across the road, but it's a bit muddy for that. Okay, we've got a flood here. Right, through the middle. Oh my God, the sheep are running away. Oh my God. <laughs> it's really car. deep. Poor car. Oh my God. Right, you need to check your brakes. Yep. Yeah, good. Wow, that was scary. That was <laughs> the scary. sheep were like running away. So we're coming into Little Corf Castle now. This is so cute. It's like your traditional little chocolate box village. I don't know if that's the word, chocolate box. Look at this. And if it was snowing, how beautiful would it be? So it's a right here. I think it kind of curves round to the right. That's it. Look at this. Oh, there's a tractor. Let's give the tractor. Oh, there's a little Christmas tree in the middle. Oh, there's the sweet shop, Rich. <laughs> I remember the sweet shop. Um, a little bit of testing getting down here. So we're just going to go down to the car park. Obviously, everyone's parking along the side. But it's so cute. The car park is free. Parking is disabled. It's normally charged, but the parking has been disabled for like select days in December. And today's one of those days. So winning. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to do our best to film on camera. But it's raining quite heavily and we don't want to ruin the camera, so we may have to switch to iPhone. So we can actually see the um, the castle in the background just there. All right, we've upgraded our jackets because it's pretty chilly. And I'm um, going to take a walk in now, but we're going to just show you the view here. It's amazing! Look at that view. There it is. The definite benefit <laughs> to parking in the West Car Park. Yes. You get those good views. Let's try and zoom in a little bit more. The other thing that's quite nice when you come to a little quaint village like this is that the locals all say good morning. Yeah, like good morning. when you come from like a city or a bigger town, that doesn't usually happen. Um, but when people pass say good morning, it's little really Christmas nice. Tree is the house. Yeah, but this is our tree. Oh yeah, little Christmas tree. This is what Luke spotted a mile off. <laughs> this is like we've got some candy canes up here. We've got a candy cane wrapped around a bicycle. How cute is that with the Christmas lights up there? Oh, to live here. And we can see the castle in the background. So this is Oliver's, uh, bed and breakfast. Um, and I think they might have a tea room in there as well. How cute is that? A little bow there. So they do breakfast and lunch. And Luke's just spotted, it says believe. <laughs> so we've got the uh, Santa stop here sign, some uh, candy canes. And Luke's well and truly ready to get to that castle. This is also something else that we don't normally see, is a red telephone box, yeah. which we obviously they are, are they, they're still in Epcot, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but they are very few and far between now. Cute little shop here, Seasons Green. So there's um, some decorations in here, um, probably some souvenirs. Very cute little shop there. Nice decorations. Smallest town hall building in England. That's cute. That Corf Castle is part of the National Trust, and they actually have a National Trust shop here. So, another way that you can support um, the National Trust, and it's like they've got some very cozy towels in there, some bath products. Uh, again, very Christmassy in this shop. You see some Christmas sweets shop. This is a very fond memory of our last trip Traditional here. Sweet. Traditional sweets. Sweets? Sweets? There's the bakery. And so, yeah, all the different. Sweets and gifts. We just peer in. Look at the candy canes. Ah. Oh. The, the tea room and we actually sat right in the window here last time was it this one yeah yeah right here. um we got the table right there right there so prime spot 
Um, lovely cream tea, not today, but maybe next time. So Luke's just gone in to um, check, double check that we've got our uh, tickets correct. Um, but here's the price, since we've got adult £10, child £5, family £25. Um, our entry is between 10 and 10.30. Um, and we do have our masks at the ready because we're going inside. So because we've pre-booked, um, Luke went in and checked and they've got us on a list apparently. Um, so we don't have to actually go in and scan anything inside the building. But look at this, we're like going across the moat now into the, into the, into the fort. Into the fort. I'm going to ask about <laughs> masks as well because we're outside. I wonder if we actually have to wear masks yeah. or not. Yeah, I mean we've got them on anyway. Um, but it'd be interesting to know whether we actually have to have them on. Here we go. So they're actually just opening up the gate. So I think we might actually be the first people to go in oh today. To open the gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's our view at the moment. Look at the the hills in the background. It's such a shame that it's not a nicer day, but you know, we're here, we're making the best of it. It started raining quite heavily. We've got our map. Yep. So we're gonna... We might switch to iPhone in a minute, but we've That's got our map. It's like on a blue day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have a look. We're gonna see how far we get, because it's slippery. Rich has got to be careful with it in case he, he damages his leg. Yeah. But we're gonna go as far up as we can, have a good look. But we just also checked about the mask policy. You don't have to wear masks here. Um, just obviously the staff do, because they're coming into contact with a lot of people. go we're heading up on this very I did think it was more um, smooth on the concrete but yeah. <laughs> it's like cobbled cobbled pathway here is the that main... how you say it? cobbled yeah. yeah it's weird being the only people going up but there's one other person that's come in we're not the only people here we're getting closer to the top <laughs> we're getting there the rain is holding off oh look they've got some um, holly branches yeah going on here so let's take a look back one of the things I love about Corf Castle is you can just find yourself going through these little archways, little coves, little caves. I'm going to try and get over this major puddle to avoid slipping over. So you can have these sort of outlook areas down here. I've got to be super careful I do not slip over. So you can just peek through the gap there. So we've just taken shelter in this like <laughs> undercover area just to get a little break from the wind. We're going to be careful because it's quite steep but that's one of the amazing views and just down there you can see the sheep and i think last time the sheep were literally i'm pretty sure that's sheep um just like teetering on the edge of the hill it's so great so you just get obviously it's flooded at the moment you can't get too close but kind of looking through like a picture it's amazing just zoom in there's jemima puddle duck over here <laughs> where's jemima puddle duck yeah. They've got some sort of um, activity you can go around. Oh, that's cool. I need some soft feathers to line my nest with, but I can't find any. <laughs> you want to play it? <laughs> Just flap your arms like a duck. He's going to flap his arms like a duck. I don't know how to do it like that. <laughs> On that note, we're going to continue with the next part of the journey. So we're just making our way up these stairs up to the ruins. And to be honest, this is higher than I thought I would get. <laughs> yeah, we're quite high. We are quite high now, so if I turn around. That's where we were down there looking at Jemima Puddle Duck. <laughs> and that view is amazing. As we're making our way up, you get to read about interesting facts, life in and around the castle. So it says domestic servants would have lived in the castle with the kings and noblemen. The castle grounds also provided work for ordinary people. So we've got some co uh, COVID instructions going on here. So they've got a one-way system in place, just going up to, I think, is the very highest point. We shall this see. is what we mean about these little cut throughs, little alleyways, little coves. This is amazing for kids, I can imagine. Uh, when it's dry and safe and... Yeah, we can't go, we can't go around there because the, the flood. Yeah. Should have got wellies. I know, we were saying this on the way up, but we need to invest in some wellies. Are you ready to go through this bit though? Okay, it's gonna get windy. Oh dear, <laughs> here we go. Look 
look at that view. You've got the little like, van coming down the lane and wow. And this down here, I don't know if you can hear anything I'm saying, but this down here is like a pool of water. Ah, it's like so windy, I'm going to flood over in a minute. Deep in the gap. It's so windy in this bit. It's so windy, so rainy. But literally, just in front of us is this massive pool of water. So there's no way I'm going to venture into there. We're literally just trying to find our way back down now through all the kind of like alleyways and um, coving areas. But we were just saying like this is this is how we basically spend our anniversary: wandering through castle ruins, really high, wind and rain, <laughs> having the best life. Yeah, wind swept, <laughs> nose is running. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we roll. Gross. <laughs> but it says on here it's a 12th century skyscraper, which I think is such a cool way to describe it. It was built in the early 1100s for King Henry I, the son of William the Conqueror, and it was standing 23 metres tall, which obviously back then was a skyscraper. Yeah, so there we go, there we have it. It's amazing to think that what that was and the history that's here. Yeah, we made so, it. We did it. <laughs> uh, purposely didn't vlog on the way down because totally trying to make sure I'm standing on my feet. You're holding on to my arm. <laughs> I was the holding on to Luke's arm the way down. Uh, but we made it and it was such a good time up there, wasn't it? Yeah, we're going to go um, have a look in the bakery now. So Luke yeah. managed to spot the hand sanitizer that says, Ye old hand sanitizer. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so that's just as you come in. Coming out, we spotted the Alpine Ski Bar and Lodge Winter Wonderland. That's <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Uh, yeah, we saw this as coming down. What can Luke see? Oh, look. You can see the candy canes and the Christmas. Oh, I love it. So they've got the raclette and fondue, boozy hot chocolates, and Christmas cocktails. If we were here for longer, this might be uh, a stop on the trip. see if we can have a nice cup of tea in the uh, Corfe Castle tea room. Tea and lattes. Let's have a look if we can go in. Oh, look, we've got our table that we had last time. Look at how cute <laughs> this Christmas pudding teapot is. <laughs> so this is what our view is, just um, looking out into the castle. Not the castle, the, um, the church. In the village. In so the lovely. village. I just want to say the service has been really, really friendly here. Oh, lovely. Lovely service. Um, they've got great COVID uh, processes in here. So we came in, we scanned the app, um, we hand sanitised. And actually, because we're sitting down now, I can take my mask off. I didn't realise I had it on still. Um, so yeah, we're just going to chill out. We're going to have a tea and a latte. And I'm just showing Rich sitting in the window. Rich is like actually sitting in. <laughs> in the window. I think we're getting a bit steamed up from the camera warming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lens is steamed up. Oh. There we go, the drinks have just arrived. I've got a latte. Actually, I can take my mask off now. I've got a latte and Rich has got a nice pot of tea. And that's our lovely view. And we've got the lovely... Oh, so nice in here. Time to look to Disney. A mad tea party. You've got the mad hatter there. And cats. latte was very nice as you can see I needed my morning coffee this morning <laughs> um, Rich is just weighing up sweet shop first which is there behind you or bakery first which is there which one first bakery first we're gonna get a sweet treat to take away and then some sweets for you <laughs> maybe get some for your Christmas stock it's quite a small, it's quite a small sweet shop so we think maybe one person at a time yeah and we wish we could buy this because it looks like stuff on there and it's so cool yeah table. We very much enjoyed our stay here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go film the Christmas tree. Here's the Christmas tree. I'm just filming your lovely Christmas tree. Oh bless you darling. We, we, 
we're quite restricted down here for space. We need to keep make sure everything. Honestly, so lovely in there. Really lovely. Yeah, we were just saying goodbye to the lady who served us earlier. Yeah, the lady was so nice. She, yeah, she actually recognised me when I went in. And I said, oh, because obviously we're wearing masks, you don't really recognise anyone you're anyways. speaking to. Yeah. But absolutely lovely. Their card machine went down. We we paid, but then we heard the card machine went down, and they were actually just saying to people, "I'm still going to do your order." And you just pay tomorrow, call like, up and pay, or call do up and pay, or yeah. do a donation to the National Trust, which so, is amazing. Like, so let's go to the bakery. It is time. <laughs> we're the village we'll bakery. No, we're gonna go in the village bakery. We probably won't film, but we'll show you what we get for sure. So good in there. We got a cinnamon, no, Belgian bun. Belgian bun. Caramel shortcake, and we got a hot sausage roll to eat. They look too good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have a little explore now. Let's go. We're at the sweet shop. We're going in. Sweet. It's very difficult at the minute because they're obviously limited capacity in each stop shop. So like in the bakery it was only allowed, allowed one person or two from one household and in there it was only three so kind of like when you're, you feel pressure because there's a queue of people you're like oh I've got to pick a sweet and in the sweet shop the, the choice of sweets on that back wall was just immense and I'm the most indecisive person but I went for milk gums and I went we'll show you when we get back milk to the hotel bottles, yeah. and I went for a blue and I can't remember what it was called but um, it only came to £2.50 and they're like, oh, it's £3 minimum on cards. So we're like oh, scavenging to just grab anything. Grabbing like supermarket sweet in a candy shop. <laughs> oh, so interesting. Covid, yeah. Covid way. COVID so we're going to have yeah. one little walk through the village and then we're going to uh, go from there. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. So we've got some old style books there. We've got a uh, Transformers toy. Little car, truck. This little truck here. I like what they've done with the lights, just going around here. It's really cool. Let's follow Luke. He's found a map. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Oh, it's Disney. It's Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot escape Disney. Literally, I have to take a picture of that. <laughs> so yeah, we're literally just outside the townhouse at the moment. Um, so inside, you can see like, um, is that a puzzle? That's cool. Yep. Um, so festive little backdrop there. I think that must be Corf Castle train station. Oh, look, it's all snowy. And it's all snowy. Yeah, because there is a train station here. There is a train station here, yeah. In fact, yeah, here we go. it's probably better view it. We've got a map here. So we've been to the castle, to the tea rooms, to the bakery, <laughs> to the sweet shop. <laughs> we parked over here. Yeah, we parked up there. And we're going to have just a peek around here to make sure we've not missed anything cool. Yeah. Like the gift shop. Love a gift shop. <laughs> it's on Christmas tree watch today. I just seen this lovely, obviously lovely church, but it's got this beautiful Christmas tree here. Look at that. Um, they've got like ominous clouds above. It's ominous. Such, uh... <laughs> um, yeah, but loving that Christmas tree. We've also got some good traditional English pubs in the village. So we've got the Greyhound over there. We've got Banks's Arms. That looks so cool. Yeah, very cosy inside. Um, we've got the Corf Castle village stores over there and then behind here there's a church and we've got this tiny tiny pub this is so cute Fox tucked in. away here um, that looks really cozy isn't it 1568 open log fire serving drinks and homemade delicious food all day look at that it must be a bit of competition in town so it's reputed to be the oldest pub in Corf Castle Wow. I like the reef. It's really that reef is cool. And there's also a model village down there as well. In the car now. So in the really, warm. In the warm. Really nice little trip out. Um, yeah. So nice. We're going to go ahead some lunch now. I think you're going to have fish and chips. Fish and chips because when you're by the sea, you've got to have some fish and chips. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to have pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about half an hour back at the minute. A bit of traffic. So we'll check in with you guys. While looking at the menu for the fish and chip place, it's Lakeside Fish and Chips in Pool, which has got really good reviews. Never had that before, but it looks good. And um, when I was looking at Rich's menu, I was like, actually, I fancy fish and chips, but I don't eat fish and chips. But they do vegetarian pasty, like a Cornish pasty. So um, I'm going to try a vegetarian pasty with fr chips from the fish and chip shop. Yeah. So I didn't really want pizza. You still have the chips, won't you? I would love fish and chips from the chip shop. So lots of vinegar, lots of salt. Yeah. Amazing. So we're heading there now. Going to get our lunch and then take it back to the hotel and have wow. some. Wow, so we've got a massive puddle situation here to deal with. 
So we're gonna go in the middle, get this red car go, and then go in the middle. That's it. Oh wow, it's like being in the sea. Oh. Wow. That's scary. The sun has come out. It looks really like stormy and sunny at the same time. It's so cool. Harbour over there, Pool Harbour. All the boats. It is time to get some fish and chips. So there's a lakeside fish and chips restaurant and takeaway. Let's do this. Got the fish and chips. <laughs> it was so cold. Um, that place was just insanely popular. Um, <laughs> I, was, I think I was the first customer. They opened at 12 um, and I think I was like, they hadn't even turned the till on. Um, it was that like prompt um but yeah we've got it and we're on our way to it's a harbour side car park i've looked up so i want to try and park the car so we can see the sea and have fish and chips in the car with the stormy wind and rain <laughs> and poor rich you just got really wet just now yeah because it's so popular i have to wait a little bit um which is fine but i didn't take my jacket and even though luke said do you want your jacket i said no <laughs> so the key thing to remember is always listen to luke <laughs> and i i drove the car because like we, we parked somewhere and then i said i'm gonna go and park closer to you so i moved the car closer to you didn't i yeah you did you're nice like that i'm gonna concentrate now for the day. Okay, so we're kind of here at the harbour side car park wow we've got really good news it's really choppy because of the wind really choppy yeah so we're gonna find somewhere to park and eat our fish and chips yay well fish and chips for me veggie pasty for them <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the traditional veggie pasty it's literally our lunchtime view we are parked up we're not gonna go and sit on the bench because it's blowing it's an so absolute gale but that is brown sea island over there now Brown Sea Island, I believe, well it used to be uh, part of John Lewis partnership and because my nan and granddad uh, at some point worked there, me and my brother got to go to Brown Sea Island when we were younger. And there's lots of squirrels and there's like a tea room. Mm -hmm. Rich is now getting the fish and chips <laughs> out. You can hear rustling in the background. <gasps> Look at that, fish and chips. Haddock and chips. Wow. Awesome. Rich is taking a picture. Look at this. <laughs> Vegetable pasty and chips. There's loads, <laughs> it's massive. We've got the traditional Fork. You girls know that we've got food and they're literally trying to get in Rich's window. There's literally one right there. <laughs> I can't see it. It's literally over my head. Yeah, they literally know we look. Here they are. They know we've got food. They're trying to get in the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. They are desperate. Not today. So, <laughs> Rich is only getting attacked by the, all the birds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> look at this. They're chasing him down. Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's gonna run! <laughs> oh my god! So oh, fun! Wow! <laughs> we knew the seagulls, like, we didn't even. We had the window open a tiny bit because it was getting steamed up in here, so they could obviously smell the fish and chips. Yeah. And then when you took the rubbish out, they're mm. literally chasing you, all the birds. Screaming! <laughs> <laughs> um, really nice lunch. We did as best we could, but I will say the portions are very large, so. We probably could have shared the chips. Like yeah, fish I think and we chips. could have shared like maybe a regular chips or something. And the pasty was massive and from a veg, veg, veggie perspective it was great. I tried some of your pasty, it was really nice, yeah. like packed full of vegetables. You've still got to eat your sausage roll as well. <laughs> 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 We've got a sausage roll, we haven't we eaten haven't it yet. We haven't eaten that yet. So, oh. um, but we're going to go back and chill at the hotel now. Um, it's been lovely sitting here actually just watching the waves crash. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, great place to come just to park up actually. Uh, on days like today when it's um, a lot of people have done the same there's a lot of cars like parked up so we're gonna head in and chill out and, and keep warm I promised you we'd show you what sweets we got from the little sweet shop so rich got milk bottles the traditional little milk bottles and i went for these what's the technical name they're like sour little cola bottles sour, but... sour fizzy bottles yeah so we got those we just got 100 grams each but they're really nice and then as we mentioned earlier we had to spend three pounds to use our card in the shop so we had to like grab the closest things to us um <laughs> to get it up to three pounds so luke chose uh peanut butter kit kat chunky which i'm not sure you would have chosen i don't know whether it was just the moment i do like peanut butter that's true it was more like we were just panicked like grab something <laughs> <laughs> um and i the, the first thing i saw and i like um is the fruit salads um so yeah <laughs> that's what we did to bring it up to three pounds the horse is on yes we need to watch it from the start though <laughs> But I love that film. Hi everyone. Good evening. We are napped. <laughs> We're rested. <laughs> we yeah. had a nice nap. I've just had a really nice shower, hence the fluffy hair. I need a haircut tomorrow. I think Rich might cut my hair tomorrow for me. If you're lucky. Hairdresser <laughs> of, the, of the COVID world. Um, had a really nice nap, just chilled out, watched a bit of TV, watching mm -hmm. Supermarket Sweep. Yep. Which is so cool. We learned something today. Though. Quite a few of you messaged us. We had like a 
about four or five messages saying that Corf, where we went today, was featured in the 1971 film Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, released by the Walt Disney Company. Which we didn't know. It was doubling as the fictional village of Pepperidge Eye. Pepperidge Eye. So thank you very much for all those people didn't that messaged know that. us. It was a bit of an eye opener for us. There's no escaping Disney, which is nice. So maybe that's why there was that Mickey there. Yes. As a link. Yes, yeah, so we saw a Mickey today in a window, which we'll see in today's vlog. So yesterday's question for the Disney quiz. Yes. We've got the Disney quiz. The Disney quiz. Okay, so yesterday's question was, what is the name of Lady Tremaine's cat in Cinderella? And of course it is Lucifer. Yes, Lucifer, yeah. So Rich has got some answers for us. I do indeed. Let's um, have a quick look. And well done to a lot of people who got it right. Maybe it was too easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people got this one right. Yep. So well done to Elisa Mailer. I hope you have pronounced your surname right. Lucifer, enjoying Vlogmas so much. I hear the music and it just cheers me up. Thank you for this tradition. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Too, too. Um, Nina, Lucifer, a fitting name I think. I am loving your vlogs. It's so lovely to switch off my computer and snuggle up with a cup of tea to watch them after work. Oh, I love to see and miss it so much now. Um, well done to Heather M. Um, and I think Heather M was the first person to actually comment with hey. the correct answer. Well done. Uh, Lucifer, like you Luke, I remember the cat names. Yeah. Um, and Jay Rocks Roxburgh. Um, the cat is called Lucifer. Cinderella is my favourite. I finally met her on my last trip for the first time. Yay. Cried like a child, she gave me a big hug. Oh, lovely. Aww. Thank you so much, everyone. So it's time for day five's quiz. Mm -hmm. I'll get it and then Rich can read it because you're the quiz master. The quiz master. <laughs> and I like the surprise. <laughs> Five is obviously a special day for us. Yes. So let's have a look. Today is our anniversary. Right. Um, Question five. Question five. Da, da, da. It's well. a complicated one. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Pongo and Perdita originally had how many puppies in 101 Dalmatians? Ooh. Comment yeah, below. I don't below. know that one, actually. So, P P Pongo and Perdita originally had how many puppies in 101 Dalmatians? Comment below. Yes. And we've had so many lovely more emails. I'm just loving reading these. Um, some... Some of you have had a really tough year, and obviously I won't read your messages out, but thank you for obviously reaching out, it's so mm -hmm. nice. Um, we had a lovely email from the McNamara family, and Susan, Mike, Lily and Liam uh, in California, and sent us their wonderful decorations. So cool. Beautiful. I love the Disney train. <laughs> <laughs> um, Katie Payne messaged us, and obviously I'm um, really sorry about the recent news you've had, and your beautiful Kitty Apollo. So, so sad. Sending yeah. hugs um, to you. Um, Kate Parker sent us a lovely little message and I just wanted to pick one more uh, Lisa Washington so uh, the Washington's Paul Sam and Lisa and obviously you sent us a picture of Sam yeah. with his alien I saw, the first thing I saw when we were to scroll down to your pictures was the alien the and glowing the alien beautiful decorations as well it looks really homely yes so, um, brilliant so we've had a really good day fresh air wind yeah, just what we needed. It's been a real good opportunity for us just to chill out, disconnect, change the scenery, um, and find it really a healthy experience, yeah. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. We're going home tomorrow because we miss the little kitties. We need to go home and see They've been well looked after on our absence, yeah. um, but it's time that we got back to see them and they're looked after by us. We yeah. had lots of kitty updates, but um, yeah, can't wait to see them. A day at home tomorrow, I think we're going to do Christmas card writing. Yes, we've we're going to jobs to do. Yeah, we've got a bit of a agenda about chocolate discussions tomorrow. Quality Street <laughs> celebrations, roses. So that's going to be an interesting one. Hit miniature heroes. We bought all four <laughs> of the main chocolate things this year. The tins. Which I really don't think we're going to get through this Christmas season, but <laughs> we want to get them all out and talk about them. <laughs> yeah. And also tomorrow, you're going to cut my hair. I am going to cut Luke's head tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, dun dun dun, because the sides are like. <laughs> Yeah, and also I forgot my razor, so there's no shaving. So, <laughs> so we, we need to go. Home. <laughs> yeah, we need to go. Home. Basically, um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little breakaway. Yeah, and um, see you guys tomorrow for day six. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been. Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories